Tomorrow is the last day of June, which means Pride Month is coming to an end, but it doesn't mean our focus on the Pride community has to shift. Today we are joined by Dr. Steve Iacovelli, who is also known as the Gay Leadership Dude. He is an award-winning author, speaker, and change management expert focused on leadership and inclusion. Steve, welcome back. Hello, Andrea. Good to be back. Good to see you. Let's start with Pride Month. Coming to an end here, we've seen many people join forces, but as we look beyond the month of June, what are some ways we can continue to take lessons learned and move forward as leaders? It's a great question. And and I think um, I saw this meme a couple of years ago. I wish I knew who, who it was. But, you know, all of June, everyone has their beautiful logos washed in rainbows and all that good stuff. But a lot of folks go July 1st and it's all back to gray as the little stormtroopers are doing. And and I think that's the challenge that we can often face with all of corporate the corporate America, corporate world. And, and I think we need to remember that um, the conversation about equality and justice Fairness, equity isn't just a June thing for the queer community and really all other communities uh, as well. And really being mindful as a workplace, as a business to continue that conversation about what's equal, what are we doing that's fair and how are we maintaining that, that justice for all others within our workplace. Steve, the last time you were on The Daily Flash, you spoke about the six traits that increase leadership within the community. How do those traits improve leadership skills? Yeah, when, when we talked about um, the six competencies that I really focus my energy on, authenticity, courage, empathy, communication, relationships, and culture, it's really thinking through the lens of what as a leader can I do, whether you're gay or straight, uh, to really be, be a, a more amazing leader. And it's through these six lenses that I've seen leaders e either rock and roll or crash and burn. Um, you know, authenticity, for example. You know, there's great folks out there who have lots of great books and research on being authentic helps you build trust. And, and I argue in my book, Pride Leadership, how uh, LGBTQ plus folks can really think about being their authentic selves in the workplace, not just in June, uh, but well beyond to be successful as a leader. And Steve, your book says many members within the community possess leadership skills they might not be capitalizing on. How so? Yeah, in, in Pride Leadership, I talk about the concept of being authentic, for example, and, and how some leaders, especially queer leaders, may not understand that they're already exercising these specific leadership traits, and it's really just channeling what they're doing as themselves in order to be more effective. So courage is another good one. You know, if I'm out at work, that's pretty darn courageous. If I'm a trans person being my authentic self in the workplace, that's amazing. Channel that awesome energy into being a more effective leader, and you'll have great success. And what do you see? seeing a great leader. I, I think a great leader really does espouse the, the six competencies that I talk about. You know, empathy pops up to mind quite a bit for me. You know, an empathetic leader is someone who really can put themselves in, in the position of their, their coworker, their employee, their boss, their customer, and really be able to touch into those emotions. And that's, I think, a, a really rare trait in the workplace today. And communication, obviously very key when it comes to any leader. And sometimes the communication is better than their leadership. <laughs> it's so true. You know, a, a communication isn't just about me me talking goodly. It's about me <laughs> listening well. And and I think you know, and I talk a lot about it about it in my book and in my keynotes and stuff. You know, effective listening as a communication trait is is gorgeous and it's effective. And so many people don't actively listen, and therefore they're missing out on their leadership awesomeness. There is so much meaning in the silence sometimes, right? <laughs> Two ears, one mouth for a reason. <laughs> there you go. Steve, great to talk to you as always. Where can viewers find your book and learn more about your program? Yeah, the best way to find us is at topdoglearning.biz. There you can find out more about me, uh, my team, and the cool stuff we can help you with. Dr. Steve Iacovelli, always a pleasure. Thanks so much for joining Thanks, us. Thanks, Andrea. Thank you.